since Skyrim Special Edition came out recently, I decided to make a video on my favorite way to play Skyrim. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's really practical when you start out too, and it's, it's still pretty effective later in the game. Um, I call it the uh, brawler build or unarmed build I guess you could say. And um, as you can see I'm actually fighting an elder dragon, an elder dragon with just my fists. That's how powerful this build is. It's pretty crazy. So if you want to know how to make this build, this is what this video is for. I'll try to go into as much detail as possible without making the video too long. So the first step towards making this build is picking the Khajiit. You want to do this because their unarmed attacks have a base damage of 15. To put that into perspective, a Dragonbone Sword also has a base damage of 15. So basically you have Dragonbone Swords for fists. When it comes to your level upgrades, you mainly want to put the points into your health and stamina bars. There are also a few perks that are necessary for this build. One of them is the dual flurry perk in the uh, one-handed tree. When fully upgraded, your dual wielding attacks are 35% faster, which will affect your unarmed. The other perk you'll need is the fists of steel perk in the heavy armor tree. This will cause unarmed attacks with gauntlets to do their armor rating and extra damage. To get the most out of this perk, you're going to want to use the Daedric gauntlets for heavy armor. They have the highest armor rating at 37. So what this means is your unarmed attacks will do 37 damage on top of the 15 damage you already have. Unfortunately this perk only affects the base damage of the gauntlets, so upgrading them at a workbench will not change the damage output. To make the gauntlets at a forge, your smithing level will have to be at least 90. The final step is to add even more damage using enchantments. I would recommend getting your enchanting to 100 and also getting the extra effect perk which allows you to put two enchantments on the same item. You also need to learn the fortify unarmed enchantment. The easiest place to find this is in the Ratway in Riften. Inside the Ratway you'll find an enemy named Gian the Fist. Kill him and take his gloves of the pugilist which have the unarmed enchantment. Then find an enchanting table and disenchant the gloves to learn the enchantment. Then enchant the Daedric gauntlets and any ring of your choice with Fortify Unarmed. If you have the extra effect perk, I would recommend adding Fortify Heavy Armor to the gauntlets and Fortify Health to the ring. Use Grand Soul Gems to get the most powerful enchantment. You now have enchantments on your gauntlets and a ring that add 12 unarmed damage each for a total of 24 damage. If you want, you can drink an enchanter's potion before you enchant, which adds one extra point of damage each. So to recap, Step 1, pick the Khajiit. Step 2, get the dual flurry and fists of steel perks. Step 3, create Daedric gloves. Step 4, learn the unarmed enchantment, and step 5, enchant the Daedric gloves and a ring. When all said and done, your fists have the potential to deal 78 damage per hit. That's a lot of damage. You can now smash the skull of anyone who makes fun of you for being a cat. Now you know all the essentials to being a badass. However, if you are having trouble finding the materials for being a badass, and keep watching. For the Daedric Gauntlets, Ebony Ore can be found at Gloombound Mine, and Daedra Hearts can be found at the Shrine of Maroon's Dagon after completing the quest Pieces of the Past. Grand Soul Gems can be found at the College of Winterhold. If you want a few smithing or enchanting potions, you can buy them off of an alchemist or steal them from the Archmage's quarters at the College of Winterhold. I hope you all have as much fun as I did with this plain style. Thanks for watching. There's someone there?